Okay, and welcome, it's me, Online Gamer to Want. Um, <laughs> there's quite a lot of stuff which is missing. I'm going to say this because, um, due to the fact that, um, I had to reinstall Oblivion. Um, basically, I, my computer, um, decided to, um, you know, just to, uh, like, some reason to, like, reinstall it. Like, not reinstall itself, but restart. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, basically, I went on to, uh, my Steam, and all my Steam games were gone. And I was like, ah, oh, Steam's probably crashed again and lost all my files. And basically, it created a new directory. So now I have three directories of Steam, and luckily, I didn't download Oblivion the full, like, way. But, um, luckily, now I have, um, all my games back without having, having to install them again. And, um, sorry about this, guys, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, just have to do something. Uh, basically, uh, I, um, <sighs> had to reinstall Oblivion, and I lost all my, um, you know, all my files and stuff, and, like, basically all my downloadable content, and, you know, it's really annoying, actually, because, of, um, I deleted all of it because of my new Steam directory, which I had in my, n and so I deleted all of it, and, uh, it didn't go so well, so now I've lost um, the crowd of cities, the um, my uh, dread knight armor, and my um, uh, my other armor, half armor. There you go. But I don't care. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna show you a new um, uh, of course is now. Um, I'm gonna be showing you a uh, new mod which involves necromancy which is actually really good um it's such a good mod and mm, sorry <laughs> um <laughs> basically um it just makes you become a necromancer and um and you get to like summon like zombies and you know stuff like that which i like to do and uh it, it, there it is, and it, it is really good. I must admit, it's one of the best necromancy mods. Necromancers, well, you know, a, the best mod which involves necromancy. Um, basically, once you become a necromancer, all the other necromancers in the vanilla Oblivion game become your friends, and it's so cool because I went into this alien ruin and um, it had necromancers. I was like, oh my god, necromancers kill them, and they weren't attacking me, and I was like. Well, this is strange, they should be attacking me, but then I remembered they can't because, um, is that new weather from the Mars Monster mod? I have no clue, but, yeah. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Did you see that? My voice went really high. I saw a blue light. Fuck it, anyway, <laughs> carry on with the mod. Um, yeah, it is amazing. I might be making two parts of this, I don't know, but... To be honest, um, I'll try and get as few as much as I can. Now, it might get a little bit laggy in here, because for some reason it got really laggy, and I don't know why. So if it gets really laggy like it is now, well, was just getting laggy. If it does get really laggy, then I'll um, just pause it and tell you what happened. So basically, once you've, um, lol, once you've installed it, you have to come to Necromancer, which is north of Bravil, and, uh, you know, you can look around and stuff, and, uh, And, uh, it's actually really well made. Uh, sadly, that guy speaks really fast, but um, man, that is really grey. Um, but but um, yeah, there is a fix for it. So yeah, he speaks really fast. It's like, oh my god, you always think he dies too. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I know what to do. Basically, um, you buy your armor, heavy or light. I'll buy light because I like light. Uh, buy carving knife, and you can go for the ornate knife um, or the rusty knife, which is free. I mostly go for the ornate knife, so I have a lot of money. It's like, oh, good God, take it away from me, burn it or whatever. I don't know. Then he's like, oh, but yeah. And then, <laughs> so tired and he's like oh yeah I'll buy this um 
um, also buys urn so you can build a um, so you can burn so you can make a um, bloody uh, lair which I'll get to in a bit uh, and if you want to get in here you have to wear the right clothes so also this is custom armor which I really love it's so cool and yeah you know, and I mean this place is really gory but I must admit it's really well made I mean like I know it sounds really wrong saying oh yeah bodies are amazing and stuff but it looks really good and I don't know why I'm, I'm not I mean I'm I'm not dark or anything you know but I like like it when people actually add like things into this like into mods like this you know like you know they actually add features like that which make it like gory and horrific and stuff like that I hope I now you can buy Tempest, you can keep on doing this, which um, get you loads and loads of stuff. Um, you so you can't be bothered to uh, you know cut people up, which I'll get to in a bit. Bloody hell! Um, basically, the basically the objective of this mod is to kill people, um, cut up people use their bones and you know pieces of uh, flesh to make a zombie or skeleton or to store oh. and one thing I do want to check is see if this uh, Mark's monster mod is still working because of, um, I just reinstalled it so I'll be right back guys uh, 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 uh. okay guys I'm back um, yeah um, so where should I, you know, make my lair and be a twat and that? Well, to be honest, I want to make it... I, I like making my lairs and my dungeons and my kingdoms and that in alien runes and forts and, uh, you no know, caves. Because making them in, like, the city, it just doesn't look right, you know? So, I think I might go up to one of my old... Very old, um... Places which I used to go up to. Uh, it should be up here. I think it's Sursen. Or something else. But there used to be this, like, um... Place where, um, I used to, um... You know, just... You know, I used to, like, make, like... Oh, it's Fort Chalman. Mm, yeah, it was. Basically, I used to, um... When I had... Because I... I've... Installed seven more, which I'll be doing another review on, is the... Imperial furniture, and it is this one as well, and um, and it's a very good mod, and um, basically you get to like move furniture and stuff, uh, put like floor flooring and uh, you know furniture and like chairs and tables and that. And when I spawn NPCs and they do their own things, they actually sit down in the chairs and actually eat and stuff. And fuck, what the fuck? Oh, don't be gay, come on me for some reason don't know why I uh, came to this cave and lucky it didn't crash um I have a lot of stuff on me anyway yeah like I was saying uh you need to go into a place where there's a lot of um people and there's a lot of people here and um yeah so um basically what you need to do uh well what you need to do is just to either get your rusty carving knife or if you haven't if you had enough money get out the sword that you bought which I can't find um Warhammer of Winter no rusty carving knife oh bloody hell where is it should be here 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 where is it that's is that it Oh fuck it, I'm just going to use the fucking rusty carving knife. Uh, basically what you need to do, you need to um, kill as many people as you can. And this ain't working. So basically... <laughs> no. Okay, I'm sorry about this guys, I know it's cheating a little, but basically what happens is, is that... Um, cool, kill those... <laughs> He's like walking off you. Yeah. Yep, see you later. <laughs> Oh, attack! Right, okay, basically what you need to do, um, you need to start cutting up people, and um, 
you get the bones now. It's only with this weapon or weapons you buy, not the vanilla weapons. And also, you can get their remains as well, but with these guys, they have nothing because they're tribesmen and they don't wear anything because they're gay. And they have gay orgies every night and for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> why I'm mean, speaking about that, but anyway, yeah, basically what you do, you just cut people up and, uh, I know it sounds really gory, um, I just, I mean, I don't, I mean, I'm not liking it because, you know, I mean, I like it, I'm not liking it because it's really gory and, I, and you know, I love seeing people die and stuff like that. Cause I'm not that really. I'm not that weird. I mean, I like seeing battles, but I don't like seeing people die. Well, if it's a battle which you've created yourself, or you know, if you have to watch, or, you know, if it's in the game, that's fine. But like cutting people up, I mean, it's gory. But I'm just showing you guys what there is and stuff. And I need to what this um mod tells you what you have to do to create um you know to create people. I don't know if that's it or not. Is that it? I don't think that's it. No, because it's. Bloody, um, it's not that, carbon knife, I don't know where it is, but basically once you've done that, you need your blood lust, flirt, oh, I forgot about that, basically, once, you, when you kill people, and you, um, kill them, and you know, you like, get, and you get their like, body parts and stuff like that, god it sounds so wrong, um, basically, what you do is, um, it's me! Uh, <laughs> basically, you get your bloodless level up, and also your, um, necromancy level up. I think I'm gonna have to create a part two of this, because this is ridiculous. But basically, but basically, um, How. But basically, um, once you've killed, once every like, pe once every person you kill, your bloodlust level goes out. Now necro, like, oh, I keep on saying this, but basically, your necromancy level allows you to summon people. Like, for instance, uh, you know, call for help while call for like followers because they believe in you as a really good god. Like, right now, your necromancy skill has increased. That's because I'm killing people and um, learning the ways of the necromancy, if that's what it's actually kind of doing. That's what it's actually kind of, that is what it's basically doing. Now, basically, um, now, basically, once you get your bloodlust level up, um, well, to see what your um, blood first level is, uh, I don't know what it's called, but, See what your bloodlust level is and your necromancy level is to, and what how many bodies you've um, collected. You can go into your bloodstained journal, and this basically tells you what your bloodlust and your necromancy skill is. So my bloodlust is 24. Um, my necromancy skill is two. On my other, on my later uh, save, it's like level 20, level 25. Because I I love this mod. It's actually really like complex and stuff like that, and I like that. I've harvested eight corpses. Now, uh, basically, um, your blood lust level will allow you to um, allow you to build stuff with the urn that you've just got from the um, which you got from the that guy. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Just die! All of you, just die! I'm not in the mood to fight you all. But basically, um. Yeah, you know, you carve up your bodies, and <laughs> it sounds so wrong. I don't think I should be doing this. I don't know, but once you've, you know, you've got all your bodies and you've got your bloodlust level up, and you found a place where you want to, um, you know, build your base or layer, you can start building defenses and uh, shrines and uh, beacons and that. Now, one thing I love, and I mean I love about this mod, is that. I love the followers in this game. You can get skeletons, zombies, the shambles from Shivering Isles. Every... Oh, it's amazing. I mean, every, like, every single undead per... Like, not everyone, but, um... Not every single undead thing, but, like, um... 
but mostly undead things, um, can follow you. And another very good thing is that you can create a, um, a skeleton leader, which skeletons can follow, and you can order the skeleton to go places, I think. And it's just amazing. I mean, I'm not joking. I mean, this is a really good mod, and, you know, it's so good. Now, I wish I had my other, um, carving knife, because of, um, you know, it's just, it's so much better than the shitty, rusty one I've got right now. Oh, fuck that, I ain't going in there yet. Uh, is... <laughs> Look at all these people. Um, I think I might create a few parts of this, because, like, um, like our chest breach does, he makes, like, a load of parts of different mods. Okay, so I'm going to just carve up this last body, and, um... Alright, okay. So, um, basically, once you've done all this, and done all that, and... Wait a minute. 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 That, I think that's the, um... Why do you try something? No, I was just wondering if there's a adventurer in here or something, because, um... It just looked like there was, um... A lantern there, which was from an adventurer or somebody. I don't know. Because, on the Mark's Monster Mod, if you haven't looked at that, um... Just die all, just all die. Just, just all of you die, please. Okay, so basically, once you've um, done your stuff, and you know, and once you've done this, done that, uh, basically, you get your necromancer's urn, and um, so basically, once you've done like, uh, you know, you know, your bloodlust, and you've carved like quite a few bodies up, or you've collected them, uh, you get your, um, you get your urn out. Now, the only thing is an urn, and it's not like, um, Ah, oh, yeah, it's like, like real-time settler in a uh, in a uh, Fallout 3 where you can place things with your mouse. You have to get an urn and you have to place it upwards. Uh, but when you click E, it turns upwards, and you can press E again quickly. So um, this comes up. This uh, little menu comes up. Now the unholy altar. Uh, now, uh, just a little strategy. The unholy altar is the first thing to build because. Literally, you'll want this. You will seriously want this. Now, it may look bad here, but it's not the best place to do it because it's all water. But um, basically, this place you can destroy it if you want to because if you don't want to have it there, create undead so you can put a leader, skin hound, shambles, flesh, lanternage, putrid zombie, or skeleton. <coughs> Sorry, and um. You can also put blood defences as well, which you can set them to fire different things, like, uh, you know, fear, um, projectiles, flame projectiles, electric projectiles, stuff like that. And it, it, it's really good, I can tell you that. Now, really, I mean, one annoying thing is that, um, you know, your bloodlust can go really down really fast because you're building quite a lot of stuff and it takes a long time to kill people especially if you're doing like undercover and you know you're doing it in the cities and that and you're trying to kill people in their houses and that won't go very well if the guards catch you and you don't have any money or you try to resist arrest because like you know it's it's really bad because of um yeah, well it's not bad but it's annoying because like you want to like start building your lair you want to start doing this and start doing that and etc you know, etc et so basically, um, how on, let me just do this quickly, because it would be so much easier. Um, okay, so, my bloodlust right now is 56, which is really good. So now, um, now I've done that, I should now be able to, like, build other things. Um, I don't know everything about the mod yet, um, I know quite a few things about it, but I can't, I, I'm not very, like, to grips with, like, okay, um, I'm not, like, yet so great with the spawn pod and bloodworks and reconstructor, because I don't know what they do, or the flesh sack, but the coffin, I think you can store bodies in, <laughs> sleeping slab, I know you can sleep on those, um, but the necromantic beacon is one other thing which I love, which is just so cool. Um, 
you can also you can call for um the higher of necromancers you know necromancers but the annoying thing is you need a 50 necromancy skill or more for a breton necromancer oh no wait, wait if you need a brute that is a hundred if you want an adept i think that's a hundred as well i think yeah a hundred and you could also do a public single a signal to the major skills as well which um which is pretty cool as well because uh, mages actually do um, uh, battle mages from Arcane University actually attack you, and that's why you need to, like start building defenses and stuff like that. Now, oh, that actually goes on the war. That's actually really cool. Um, there we go. Um, if I build blood defense. Here, would it do well? Yeah, it would do okay. Um. Like I said, this is kind of the annoying part of this, is, you know, putting this down. I mean, I hope they do... Uh... <sighs> Bloody hell, people texted me. Um... Uh, be right back, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. Just uh, sorting out some text and that. But anyway, there. Yeah, I've... So, I've just built my blood defences, and you can activate them. So, activate... Um, defenses are currently activated. So now, when enemies come, they will get attacked. And um, well, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> That's awesome. They're killing one of the carcass rats. Now these are from the Oblivion um realm, which is actually pretty cool. Um, now, I'll show you what the undead look like. Um, of course you know what skeletons and putrid zombies and stuff like that look like. And that's pretty gross. Sorry about that, it's just my knees kind of, um... <laughs> uh, Charlotte, what the fuck. Anyway, um, yeah. So basically, um, best thing to do, um, start off with is obviously skeletons. Now, um... You lack the coffin space. Are you actually fucking having a laugh? Um. Oh yeah, because I need to build a coffin, don't I? Oh god, Joey Rem. There's a fly in my bloody. Uh. Bloody hell. Just, just stand up. Stand up. American, sorry. Um, coffin. <laughs> All right, okay, I did it. All right, okay. Um, create undead skeleton. I like the coffin space. Why? Name right? Because I was building some. Oh, that's why. I know why. Cause that's why. Um, create undead skeleton. Yay! Um, basically, what you do is create your skeletons. Um, you can upgrade them. They can follow you. You can follow the leader. Sentinel. I don't know what they are. Patrol, which is good. Returns lair if they're following you. Destroy and salvage, which they get destroyed, and you collect some stuff like bones and you know stuff like that and human heart. You can upgrade them either a melee guy, a melee skeleton, or an archer. Now, I like the archers because they look pretty awesome, but um. Basically, um, this is the archer. It's a low-level archer. It's like one of the archers you get in the first aid runes when you go into on Oblivion. You can upgrade them to a guardian archer, which is actually pretty awesome. So, you know, they've got a silver bow now, which is actually really cool. Um, you can build loads, and I mean loads of skeletons, as much as you want. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's so cool. It's just amazing. I love it. Now, I don't have that many skulls, sadly. But, um, yeah, I'll make one thing which I want to make is definitely a flesh atronage. Because he looks awesome. And a flesh titan? What the fuck? Why is a flesh colossus? <laughs> Oh, wow. Not enough pieces! And bloodlust to upgrade. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Now that is... 
That's awesome. That no, that is. He's following me. That's pretty awesome. Also, he does some really cool moves. I forgot about that. He does some amazing moves, and he sounds so scary. Um, he doesn't know what a sentinel is. Up, neither do I. Um, just patrol. That is pretty awesome. So yeah, basically you get to um, you know just you know just like build stuff, and it's really cool, and it's so cool, and it. I keep on saying that, but. You know, it's just amazing, and I love it, you know, and I love building things like this, I love building creatures. Now basically what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make him hunt. I don't know what's up with my, um, bloody hell, it's lagging like a piece of shit. Uh, now follow me, you dumb ape, and it seems to be lagging quite a bit for some reason. Uh, be right back guys, because it's lagging again! Okay guys, be right back. Okay guys, I am back. Um It's been a bit gay. <laughs> no, don't drown yourself! What are you doing? Alright, okay. So Oh no. It's cause I killed everybody in here, isn't it? Okay, so um for the fuck of it, I will resurrect him. Good evening. Good evening! Skeleton! Help me! No! You leave him! Leave him alone! <laughs> He's just a skeleton! Quick! Skeleton, help me! <laughs> Lol. Yeah, um... You can upgrade him to like many things, like um, well not many things, but you can upgrade him to our hero archer. So you know they become like a really cool, and this the champion as well, which is actually really cool. Drowning himself. <gasps> oh my god, no way. Are you having a laugh? You just got completely raped. <laughs> Way. <Whey. laughs> Way. Sorry about that. Um basically what just happened was this fucking Rem decided, oh yeah, I'll run away from these guys and like, I guess he would do, but um, as he just started to run away oh, that was, that was funny, I must admit, that was funny and that was funny how I just heard those uh, doses go off and just completely kill him, well, kill her at least um, but yeah, um I mean, I mean, every part of this mod can lead to great things in Oblivion. I mean, like, <laughs> it sounds weird saying this, but, um, it can, like, you know, I mean, it can make you, like, I don't know, I mean, I love role-playing in games like this, you know, like, creating my own, like, little castle, like, little lair, and having my own bodyguards, and having guards around the place, and, you know, having my own servants, you know? And that's why I love, like, Mercenary, the Mercenary mod, uh, Fireflies mod, so much, and... You know, I'm upgrading it. Oh, okay. Ha 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 ha! Sorry. <laughs> Lol. But yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I mean, my God. I, I have to admit, this is one of the bestest mod which I absolutely adore. And um, you know, I mean, I love this mod because it's so complex and it's so amazing. I love how, like, you know, like. The necromancers are on your side, and, uh, I mean, I've tried quite a few mods, like the Maruda perk, the Maruda fraction mod. That's alright, but, to be honest, it's pretty shit, because of, um, literally, you try to add, like, more mercenaries, but, um, I think, because the mercenaries that you spawn from the console don't have the scripting from that mod, 
let's just say that it kind of, of um, you know, it, you know, they just don't, you know, they don't like each other, let's just say that, and, you know, and they start finding each other, and it's really annoying, but this mod, I mean, I mean, I know it sounds sad or anything, but you can, like, form, like, really good battles, like, when you're high enough, like, when your necromancer level's high enough, you can, like, call for necromancers, can't you? And you can have, like, battles with conjurers, because necromancers absolutely fucking hate conjurers. And, you know... And, you know, what the fuck her Michael Fresh class is doing is... I'm just gonna say... Wait. <laughs> He's just like, oh, okay then. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> he does look pretty freaky, though. I mean, no... Alright, okay guys, uh, the requirements for this mod is OBSC -E and, uh, Shivering Isles as well. So, if you don't have Shivering Isles, you won't be able to create that guy, uh, the Shambles, and the Skin Hound as well. And that guy is the Flesh Archer as well, so, you would only be able to create the Putrid Zombie, the Skeleton, and the Skeleton Leader. Um... I mean, like I said, guys, this mod is amazing. Uh, 10 out of 10, I must admit. Um, I mean, there is a fix for that guy, because he speaks so fast. Because um, that guy speaks so fast, um, that kind of puts me off a little, little tiny bit. But there is a fix for that, um, which is good. I might download that soon. And also, there's quite a lot of... Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things to do in this mod. I mean, yeah, it might you, you might think it's boring, like, you know... Like, oh, creating zombies, having battles, creating your own lair, oh, so boring. But, to be honest, I think it's actually really good. But anyway, guys, um, this is me, online game to one. Um, finished off another Oblivion mod review. Hope you guys enjoy. I might do extras again. I always say I'll do extras, la di da di da on my online game to extra channel. I barely do it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Um, more Oblivion mod reviews coming up. See ya.